When we carry out strategic management process, we have got several techniques available to us through which we can do a business analysis, we can take certain choices in business and we can implement our strategies accordingly. So let's discuss them one by one. One, setting up vision and objectives. Two, taking strategic analysis. Three, taking strategic choices. Four, implementation. Fifth, evaluation and controlling. With my experience over the years, what I've observed is that most of take these highlighted areas as difficult areas. So what I've decided is to talk about the C entry, the areas of business plan, change management, contingency plan, contingency plan since this is um, a COVID-19 time and I'm sure that most of the you know, big giants around the world, they must have their contingency plan with them. So this can be a very important area in, in the times to come. Uh, since uh, this is the high time to have contingency plan with the organizations. So I must say that this area is very important area since I'm a business analyst professionally. So uh, th these are the areas in which I have got my own specialization. I have done sort and pest analysis for, uh, for one of the organizations. So I'll be discussing this area particularly with you. So let's discuss the C entry first. Decision trees are used frequently for investment analysis and decision making in business. A decision tree provides a comprehensive framework to review the alternative scenarios and consequences a decision may lead to. For example, a decision tree can explore the various issues associated with hiring new staff. By expanding, the tree can also show management the implications of hiring an employee who performs poorly and must be dismissed. Decision trees are also useful for exploring the impact of a decision. For example, a company considering whether to air a TV advertisement could set up the tree to explore what happens if it airs the ad, what happens if the economy is strong or weak, and so on. One of the most basic applications of a decision tree is in pricing options. In its simplest form, the model assumes the value of the options underlying stock will increase or decrease by set amounts, and the value can be easily determined in a simple tree. Another application for decision trees is valuing real options, which are major operational decisions a company has to make, like whether to contract customer service or expand to new markets. An effective decision tree helps management consider all the factors involved in the decision and choose the most profitable option. Let's begin with decision tree analysis. The C entry analysis is basically a scientific model which is used by different organizations during their decision making process. This graphical representation is basically structured in the form of tree in which the problems associated with each decision is characterized is associated in a form of a flow chart with each outcome with the level of probability attached to it. So if we go through this analysis, a structure of this analysis technique, we have got nodes. One node B would be of decision. This node represents a node of chance. On the other hand, we would be having the expected values with us in a form of a currency means the dollars. On the other hand, we have got the probabilities. Along with that, it has a probability of 80% probability of success, maybe a 20% probability of uh, failure and likewise. On the other hand, we have got business situations, means the alternatives that the business have. For example, if we discuss a, a, a case, a scenario, suppose a company, they may build up an office, they may build up a housing scheme or they might sell a land after three years. A office have a high chance of um, you know it's a risky approach uh, the housing can be a less risky one and land can be a very risky one according to the information that is available to a business with the market information so let's discuss this in a form of a the CN3 analysis so here we go we got a hypothetical situation in which we got a company who is specialized in construction businesses For example, if they make a choice of come up with the construction project 
of building up offices for the commercial use and then they have a choice to make maybe they can come up with the housing project for the flats and then they may sell the land after three years so as per the market information provided to us by the experts that we have and maybe we can take this information from the outside so the source of information that we get out of for the probability and for the expected value would be from the experts so let's start the situation so for example if we start discussing the decision tree analysis we need to understand the diagram here you see here we got a final decision node this is the chance these are the chances nodes and then there, there are some outcomes see the branches have got the outcomes so i have solved this very particular analysis i have completed this particular analysis with the help of basically two methods one is to draw a diagram on the other hand what i have done is that i have calculated here in another way as well which i'm going to explain you one by one so let's start if they come up building up the offices here so you see the the market information of expected failure and the success is is given over here so if they decide to come up with the offices the expected probability of success is 80 percent which will give them 30 million dollar 30 million in comparison if they the, the expected probability of failure is 20 percent here which will give them a expected return of 10 million so the method says that what we need to do is that if we can multiply the expected outcome with the probability both of success and a failure so here i have calculated it you see so once i have done the calculation here i have what i have done is that i have multiplied the expected return with the probability in in, in both cases of success and failure which has given us 26 million now here it comes 26 millions and the expected and and the cost the capital cost which is given here will deduct the capital cost going to be invested here which will give them a sum of 11 million here so what would could say that that they would be a this option number one would give them 11 million so now we need to see where we stand when it comes to the other options so when it comes to the option and when it comes to housing scheme, the probability of success is 70% and the probability of failure is 30% here, which will give us with the same method dollars 13.4 million. Likewise, if we go towards a third option, which is to, they may decide to come up with the land, uh, we'll apply the same formula here. The probability is same 50-50%. We'll apply the same method, which will give us 7.5 million dollars. So we got three figures here 11 million 13.4 million and 7.5 million it is quite evident now it is quite easy to understand that when it comes to quantitative decision making now we need to differentiate here i'm talking about quantitative decision making since the cn tree analysis gives us a quantitative analysis one of the limitations of uh, the cn tree analysis is that it gives you a quantitative analysis it does not touch the qualitative analysis so when it comes to quantitative part of it so we can we could easily say that the maximum expected return that we are getting here is from building housing scheme so we could easily say that the cn tech that we are taking would be so let's discuss the qualitative part of it i have seen that generally examiner is very much interested in knowing the qualitative factor as well yes we are this is quite silent here when it comes to numbers we could easily say that we should go and build the housing scheme so what if if we move forward to build a housing scheme and there are some regulatory issues in the times to come if we are unable to see the government direction towards uh, housing projects so it can be a challenging situation we need to cater the challenges that is there in the environment in which you are operating so environmental issue could be there maybe some other stakeholders environmentalists uh, from the surrounding the people they may protest against since to they may go against to build a housing project in that locality so the stakeholder analysis would be very much important would play a very important part in it so whenever you are doing such analysis you need to consider the qualitative part of it as well 
So uh, I would strongly suggest you that when it comes to quantitative analysis, the CN tree is one of the key tool that we have got to do analysis. So this is what I wanted to discuss with you when it comes to the CN tree. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, and if there's any query, you may uh, leave your comments on my channel and I'll definitely going to help you out in the times to come as well. So let's wait for my next lecture uh, related to strategic management. See you next time. Best of luck.